Hey, Wolverine fans, thanks for tuning in to the Woodland Hills Football Network pregame show. Last Friday, Woodland Hills hosted North Hills for an Allegheny 9 conference clash with the Indians. North Hills struck first, turning a big return on the opening kickoff into three points. And we're underway in Turtle Creek, PA, as this one will go from around the two-yard line for Melvin Banks as he cuts to the right-hand side. He has a crease. He's off to the races. One man to beat and Chuck Hanchett. He'll get a shove, but no further. Banks trying to cut back as he steps along that far boundary and finally will be brought down along that far boundary. Dylan Pauling for the North Hills Indians. Kick up and that field goal is good. But Woodland Hills tied the score with an early second quarter field goal drive. Straight drop back, Jones looking right the whole way, throwing to the right-hand side. The pass caught on that far boundary by Nazir Taylor, and the Wolverines have a first down via the air. Twins right, double tight end formation as Jones runs to the right. Thought about tucking and running. Now he's going to take off running. He's going to drive his way forward. A second lean, make it a third lean. It'll depend on the spot, but he got pretty close to at least the 31-yard line where it'll be fourth down and about one. Michael Whitehurst, the holder, the kick by Chucky Hanchett is up and good. The Wolverines took their first lead of the game as they turned a third quarter interception into a touchdown. Shotgun sidecar to left of Hurt. He'll roll left on third and long, throwing it for Blanks, and this time it's intercepted. Michael Coleman with the INT, running right inside of the 30, the 25, the 20, to the 15, still on his feet, inside of the 10, and spun out of bounds at the five yard line. A big interception for Woodland Hills sets them up deep inside of Indians territory. Hand off. It's Jaquan Smith driving his way forward. He won't be denied. A Woodland Hills touchdown and the Wolverines this time are on top. Woody High extended their lead in the fourth quarter as Anthony Meredith propelled the Wolverines down the field and capped off the drive with a 10-yard touchdown run. And Jones is going to hand off. Anthony Meredith, the ball carrier, running left. He's got the first down and more all the way down to the North Hills 40-yard line. A pickup on that play of 15. Hand off. Meredith hesitates. Burst free. He's got the first down. He's still on his feet. 15 to the 20, spinning all the way down to the 15-yard line. Jones, hands off, Meredith, right to left, and into the end zone he'll go for a 10-yard touchdown run. Nice cutback, great vision, as Meredith was able to look to his left and cut back. North Hills cut into the lead on the next play from scrimmage with a 65-yard touchdown pass. Play action to Blanks, ball down the left seam, wide open is John Hodnick, and he'll slide through a tackle, and he will go all the way to the house for a 65-yard touchdown, and it was a 14-point game, and now it's an eight-point game. But the Indians would get no closer, and Woodland Hills improved their conference record to four and one. Now let's turn our focus to Woodland Hills alum Tom Green, who is doing big things for the defending PSAC champion, California Vulcans. Green cutting it to the outside. Now he's got a lane, and it looks like Tom Green, if he can continue his speed, as a great block from the back there. He gets tackled down at the two yard line. Michael Keir now looking over the area of Tom Green. Tom Green hauls it in for a touchdown. Driving yet again, as this time it's gonna be a pass right over to touchdown. Tom Green. Let's take a look at the Wolverines results and remaining schedule. And now, the Allegheny Nine Conference standings. The Trib Live High School Sports Network WPIAL 5A Top 10 Ranking. This week, Woodland Hills remains at the Wolverina for an Allegheny 9 conference battle against Moon. 
Last year, Woodland Hills overcame two double-digit deficits, turning the first-ever meeting between the Wolverines and the Tigers into an instant classic. Three receivers to the right. Can each go back to pass? He's pressured as he rolls to the right-hand side. Pumps twice. McAllister can't get there. Kanichka picks up the first down as he cuts it back inside of the 30. And the kick is up, and it is good, just getting inside of the right upright. Wolverines running to the left. It's Rodney Denard getting the start to tailback. He'll bounce off of Moon Tigers, cutting it back to the near side, right 50, to the 40, to the 30, the 20, 15, 10, 5, end zone touchdown, and Rodney Denard starts things off well for the White and Turquoise. He'll look to the right-hand side, and the pass is caught on the goal line and into the end zone goes Josh Burns for a Tiger touchdown. Handoff Holt running to the left-hand side. He's met from behind, and the ball is ripped out of seed. Holt's hand, and a defensive lineman will run into the end zone for a touchdown. Alec Yakum. Just ripped the ball out of Seed Holt's hand and ran eight yards for a touchdown for the Moon Tigers. Wolverines setting up the fake. It's Seed Holt down the near sideline. He's got the first down and more inside of the 25. Hanchett gets the kick up. And that field goal by Chucky Hanchett is good. Kanichka looking left this time. Throwing left, pass complete to Panucci. He was wide open, and into the end zone he will go for a 17-yard touchdown. As Jones sets up the screen, it's complete. Seed Holt, he's got the first down, he's got a convoy in front of him. He's inside of the 25 to the 20, out of bounds to the far boundary around the 17. It's a big pickup for the Wolverines. Jones is going to hand off to Jaquan Smith, who's going to run straight up the gut and cross the goal line for a Woodland Hills touchdown. At the six-yard line, Daniel Jones runs to the right and into the end zone for a Woodland Hills touchdown of five and a half yards. Tigers with the offense on the field, straight down the middle, and the pass is intercepted by Derek Carraway at the 49-yard line. Carraway running from right to left to the far boundary inside of the 30, out of bounds around the 20-yard line, and the Wolverines are in business with 7-17 to play in the fourth quarter. Moon dodging a bullet after an interception by Derek Carraway. Now the pass down the near sideline, and they are able to pick up a big first down on the Moon Tigers. He's going to run to his left. He's going to be pressured as he retreats and goes back to his right-hand side. He's going to step forward, and it's going to be intercepted by Woodland Hills in the end zone. It's Derek Carraway. He'll slide his way down at the six-yard line, and the Wolverines are in business. The problem is they're 94 yards away from pay dirt. The good news is they have a minute to cover it. Jones trips right, looks left, throws left, complete. Avram Abramovich to the 30, to the 40, to the 50, 40, 30, 20. 15, 10, 5, end zone, touchdown, Alvaro Abramovich. The Wolverines have taken the lead. On third and 10. Oh, big left-hand swat there by Michael McAllister, the defensive end. One receiver to the far side right. Kanichka steps up. He's pressured by McAllister. He'll throw the pass incomplete. And the Woodland Hills Wolverines will take the ball away on downs. If you can't make it to the Wolverine on Friday night, you can watch our live stream on the Woodland Hills Football Network Facebook page. Tune in to the live broadcast on Monroeville Comcast Channel 13, Penn Hills Comcast Channel 98, and Verizon Fios Channel 37. Or you can listen live on the Trib Live High School Sports Network. As always, you can tune into replays of the game throughout the weekend on all of our TV affiliates. And all of our broadcasts are available in HD on our YouTube channel. Again, fans, thanks for joining us for this edition of the Woodland Hills Football Network pregame show. We'll talk to you again next week as the Wolverines travel to Imperial to take on West Allegheny. This has been a presentation of the Woodland Hills Football Network. Watch us on YouTube, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and as always, visit us at woodlandhillsfootballnetwork.com.